Let me show you how you can customize strategy map to the specific needs of your organization. For example, for if you want to simplify the approach or if you want to make your strategy map more sophisticated. Let's start with strategic pillars that you'll always see here at the top of your strategy map. I highly recommend you to work with strategic pillars because they are the place where you set up your corporate strategy and Purdue as well as OKR are both strategy execution tools. However, if you're, for example, new to OKR, you want to keep it really simple and, and start with OKRs first, you can disable strategic pillars. To do so, go here into configure and then head over to features here. And then you see here that under goal management, you'll have strategic pillars enabled. However, you can disable that. Simply unfold the settings here, scroll to the bottom, and then uncheck the, bo the, the box for strategic pillars, hit save, and then strategic pillars will disappear from the Purdue app. Going back to strategy map, there's further customization possible. Um, for example, each, each swim lane that you'll see on your strategy map is called a cadence. Now you can remove a cadence. For example, if you don't wanna work with annual OKRs in this case, you can remove that cadence but you can also add another swim line. You can add another cadence. For example, if you have divisional or business unit strategies that you also want to set up on Purdue. To do so, again, go to configure and you do need to have super admin rights in order to access configure. And then here, head over to the cadences tab. Remember, each swim lane on strategy map is called a cadence. Now, if you want to remove annual OKRs from your strategy map, then simply archive or delete that cadence. Or if you want to set up a place where you can set up your divisional or business unit strategies, then here, click on this button here on the right, add cadence. And then you have some presets here, five year, three year, annual, etc. I'm going to click custom and I'm going to call this cadence business unit strategies. Now this will be, um, now our business unit strategies will be uh, strategic objectives that we set once every five years, for example and then I'll set the default update frequency to yearly. Now I'm going to click save and add timeframes and I'm going to call this timeframe business unit strategies 2024-2028. And I'll set the start date here to the 1st of January. So now I'll create a timeframe that will start on January 1, 2024 and end on December 31st, 2028, so that's five years in total. And now when I click Submit, I've created a new cadence and I've created a new time frame. And when I go back to the strategy map, you now see that we have another swim lane here um, where we can then set up our strategic objectives that will communicate our business unit strategies. These business unit strategies or these strategic objectives can be assigned to specific divisions or departments or business units whereas strategic pillars cannot be assigned to specific teams, as you probably know, uh, because strategic pillars are really there for your corporate level, your overarching strategy.